In this worked example, I'd like to show you how you work out sizes of objects and distances from observed angles. So let's say we found a galaxy somewhere out in space, and we measured how big it appears to be, which is of course an angle, and that is 10 arc minutes. Astronomers normally measure angles in arc minutes and arc seconds because degrees are normally too big for us. An arc minute is 1 60th of a degree, which means it's 1 60th times pi over 180 radians, which is 0 0.00029 radians. So that's how big the galaxy is, 10 arc minutes. And let's say we know this galaxy is 5 megaparsecs from the Earth. Megaparsecs are the units we normally use to measure how far away galaxies are. A megaparsec is a million parsecs. A parsec is 3.09 by 10 to the 16 meters. So we have a galaxy, it's 10 arc minutes across and it's 5 megaparsecs away. The first question we might ask is how big is it? So that's an angular size, but what's its actual physical size? Now we know that the actual physical size, let's call it r, is equal to d theta, as long as theta is measured in radians. So if we plug in 5 megaparsecs for that, and 10 arc minutes for here, and convert everything into the appropriate units, we find that the length r here, the true physical length of this galaxy, comes out at about 14.5 kiloparsecs. A kiloparsec being 10 to the 3 parsecs, which is indeed a feasible size for a galaxy. So that's how we measure sizes of things. How about distances? Let's now imagine that there was a second galaxy, but this one was only a pathetic 1.6 arc minutes across. Very small. Now, let us assume that this galaxy and that one are actually really the same. Very dangerous assumption, but let's make it anyway. If they are really the same, then the fact that this one appears smaller must simply be because it's further away. So the question then is, how far, much further away is it? Now we could take this equation from here. We'll now have r2 equals distance to galaxy 2 theta 2. We know r2, we know theta 2, so we have the distance is just equal to R2. We know R2 because we're assuming it to be the same as R1 up here, the size of this galaxy. If we didn't make that assumption, we couldn't work this out. So that's just d2 equals R2 over theta2, and solve it that way. We can also do it by ratios. We know that the angle of some galaxy is proportional to 1 over its distance. Therefore, the ratio of the two angles, theta 1 over theta 2, will be equal to the ratio of 1 over the distances, which is simply the inverse ratio of distances, which in this case is, you know, the ratio of angles is 10 over 1.6, so d2 is 10 over 1.6 times d1. Either way, we get the same answer, 
which is that the small galaxy is 31 megaparsecs away.